episode 97 of the random order podcast baby you know what time it is man live from the annex hotel downtown toronto shout out my dogs man bow keeping it very cozy great hosts speaking of hosts man it's your boy mr quentin quarantine also known as your boy jermaine richards man i'm out here b baby trey in the building yeah the biggest baby man shout out the baby the button worked stop working Sheldon's actually also in the building. Actually, Sheldon's actually in the yeah, building. Yeah, We're all yeah. in the same building. Yeah, hey, he on up. the A. He ain't on the eight. Yeah. yeah. yeah so it's been a great episode. Yeah. Episode 97. For the most part, we, we caught up, talked about being in Toronto again. Mm-hmm. Hanging out and shit. Um, definitely covered that brand new iPhone 13 Pro. <laughs> uh, what the was clubs. we talking about? Hitting the club. Hitting the not club. wanting to host parties for sure. Yeah, we talked about uh, boxers running out. Boxers. You know what I'm saying? That's really important. Yep. G-strings. Yeah, men F. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speedos. Yes. Italians. And synchronicity. It's yes. been a great episode, man. Y'all, make sure y'all hit subscribe and hit the bell to get all notifications. You know what time it is, man. Yep. Enjoy the episode. Going down. Yeah. All day, all day. Oh man. The soundboard is on the floor, but it's all good. It's yeah, weird. getting it out the mizzle. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me just let me go ahead and get my 13, man, and get you get you get you hit that right there, Jay. Yeah, Sean, we really need to find him, man. So, yeah, bun me up. Get that. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know what time it is, man. Them Eagles is flying really high today, I'll tell you that. Cause we getting out this is a get it out the mud episode. This is a get it out the mud episode, this man. Get it out the mud episode. Hey, you know how we do it. Yeah. Sometimes you go through things. Uh-huh. Trials and tribulations. Yeah. Lead Travels and not being with all of your equipment and shit. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you go through that. Yeah. And sometimes you just gotta get it up out the mud, man. Make it work. Get it up out the mud like I'm training Marines. Told you what'd he say? That boy Aubrey spitting. <laughs> that boy Aubrey spitting. I didn't know where he was going at first. I said, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what time it is, man. We're out here, episode 97. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's 97, yeah. This 97, 97, man. 97. The Annex Edition, man. 97. The Annex Yo. Hotel Edition, man. Yo, man. I got a couple Let's of get a bomb for the Annex. Us, man. Yeah. Can we get two for the Annex, man. Please, man. Yeah. I got a couple honorary shout outs, man. First off, shout out my man Jackson downstairs getting us right with the drinks, man. Sure. And the mm-hmm. chukuruli boards, man. Them right. shits. Yo, them awesome. chukuruis. Yeah. What was awesome. awesome. them crackers? Do we know there's some gluten free crackers or some shit? Yeah. Yo, Trisket, if you watching, Woo. Yeah. feeling them. We feeling them. Vegetable joints. Yeah. Yeah, yeah hit us up, man. <laughs> It's crazy because I can't hear the sound effects, so we gotta. I'm, in my head, I'm like counting like one, two, three. I Should feel them in my yeah. soul, though. You know, yeah. like, I don't really have to hear them anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, the fucking yeah. boys is back in Toronto, man. Oh yeah, this is the this first. Is the yeah, first back in Toronto. Yeah. This is the first episode we've done together since. I'm not gonna try to man. Like <laughs> August probably. Yeah. Maybe August. Back in the crib. Bro, you left. You left January. Together. Oh, fuck. You're talking about, talking about 2020. Yeah, 2020. Holy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One time for reconnections. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Holy But it's funny. You know, you haven't seen someone in a minute. And it's like, yo, fuck. Like, you see them right before you. And it's like, yo, fuck. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's Sheldon. I saw him. Like, yo, what up, man? Yeah. I felt yeah. like we're already. Yeah. Facts. Probably was locked and in. And that show gets you in trouble, no, too, really? just having, like, this online world. Like, I've, I watch babies grow up online, and niggas like, oh, you ran in my baby's life. I'm like, yo, I saw everything, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, I could tell you every. Like, I remember, nigga. Seen it all. I know I heard niggas. Yeah. Man, You're not even here man. to watch my son. Like, I saw it, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's a really good point. And that's just, I think that's just a testament to, like, how real it is. You know what I'm Yo, saying? that's how so, real we yeah, keep it on here, man. man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Back. Dude, I, I don't have to come. <laughs> <laughs> I had, to, I had to come on here and tell you about my, about my browser's problem. Like, I really be, yeah. I really be on here opening up, bro. Let me tell you something, cause you know we're doing TikTok crazy right now, so yeah. we're going back and shit. So I was listening to the wet behold syndrome right part. Yeah. yeah, Jermaine takes his headphones off. He said, "We getting that person." <laughs> 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 that nigga did 
can't do that. You gotta yo, like, yo, yo, this is a, a different lot. world. There's it's times you gotta. Thing. Yeah, no, no. Explain, explain yeah. that moment. Explain that moment. Tig, bro. When I took out my headphones. Yeah, just to ask if it's getting real. Yeah, because you said you weren't, you weren't sure we was really about to talk about wet. Yeah. Oh, honestly, my headphones we were dying, so I had like, I was, I was like taking them off to charge them, but I was yeah. like, oh, oh you're getting real. Like, yeah. like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I wish, I wish they had that. It was funny if you just took them off. Yeah, doing that. Look like that though. Like when I was watching it back, it looked yeah, like it was I just certainly like, had to check. It's you know funny. Like, it's funny because realistically, what you should have done was push the mic away to say we getting that real, but you just took the headphones off and straightened some mic. We we doing that yeah. for real. <laughs> we getting real. We about the wet butthole. Okay. We edit, so, but we don't really yeah, cut. You know, like Shit, it's really yeah, real, like. yeah. I had uh, Jackson downstairs. He, he said, um, "When y'all film, do do we like plan about what we're gonna talk about, or do we just talk?" I'm wondering. That's probably a question that people have. Um, yeah. I'm. Yeah. I wonder. Fuck. Yeah, no, I think they do. You think? Like, I think they do. Cause some people, but it's, it's weird. Cause I feel like some people are like, oh, you know, like you guys should like talk about like certain like top like pop culture topics, and like you guys should talk about this, and it's like. We really don't plan to talk about nothing. Uh, like, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I told him we just forget like, everything. Niggas will win a whole championship, not talking about yeah, no, <laughs> this the whole thing. Yeah, because sometimes you know that day, like maybe I just fucking yo, today we're at an event mm-hmm. and um this is the first event in a minute where we kind of went and we're all in person and whatnot, and I just forgot how hot it gets at events. And yeah. now with the mask on, there's no ventilation. None at That's all. True. And there's a there's a moment in time where a fucking piece a, a drip of sweat went mm-hmm. straight down my ass crack, and like Bro, seconds that later, that like, be yo let's yeah 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 sweat ass sweat Bro, it'd be real. like dead center down your back straight to the like straight down the groove. It's like fucking mini putt, bro. Hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> hole in one, man. Yo. It's the most like, you know, you can't do anything about it. You can't mm-hmm. like. Bro, just, when just, I'm sweating and I'm in, in full out clothing, nigga, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. Yeah. There's nothing like we're, we're, we were at this event. Mm-hmm. We had a wonderful presentation going on. I'm thinking, okay, I was definitely sweat rolling down into my ass. Mm-hmm. And I'm so, there nodding. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. You have to know because it's like now I have to move a little different. Like mm-hmm. you have to take that into consideration. Like okay, fuck. Do y'all be trying to like step where that? Y'all be trying to like step to where you know you're not really bringing your cheeks together, and shit. To, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's already. I'm not trying to like make it exactly weird. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're talking be about. trying to like walk a little yeah. bit wider and shit, just yeah, to kind of just that. you know what I mean. I feel that. Man, couple that with a few of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah for oh sure, bro. God, you know, man. There's yeah. a, there's a lot of techniques. The other day I had to get my the whole you know the pants. We did, we did, we, did, we, done, yeah, we did, we did, yeah, that. for sure. That's the days day, I yeah. yeah the days I got a step like that. It's just like I'm I'm trying to go home asap, just yeah. fix up because it's just yeah. not a good day, man. Mm-hmm. Wonderland, I'm, oh my god, wet boxers, bro. I'm just like, yeah. oh, it's fucking wedgie day, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To <laughs> yeah. so the point where my shorts like would be like outside of my pants by the end of the day. Like yeah. you, I, you rock the boxers and then you got the basketball yeah, shorts yeah. Yeah, and yeah, the giant yeah. jeans. Yeah, They're, the jeans are sagging all day. You pull them back up, sag, yeah. pull them up. So you your shorts, used, bro. You ever used to end up just being like wings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, wings yeah, at the yeah. side of your harness. That was a, yo, that was a real ting, bro. Like, yeah, man. That was a real like niggas like because you even back then in the day like I used to have like way bigger shorts than I needed to have too. Oh, for sure. So the wings were sure. like you know what I'm saying they were crazy, bro. That's what we you know. Just, you had a long day when you just come home with the wings oh up. My yeah. gosh, bro. Because there would yeah. be days in high school, in middle school. First off, shout out Blue Notes because they sponsored my basketball short. Oh, for sure. Time. Oh, yeah. 100%. Bro, till the other day. Yeah. 100%. I feel like everyone has like, like one or like two <laughs> articles of clothing. You're like, yo, this date's <laughs> yeah. very bro, I wish I, had, back. I wish I had a picture. I had these orange. Their one side was orange. One side was white basketball shorts oh, that I wore Amazing. all four years of high school, bro. Notorious. I, I used to. I just. I just couldn't get rid of them shorts. Okay, yeah, there's some you know shorts. Like, like yo, fuck they're man, so ugly though. They're yeah. beat. Like orange one yo, side. Or, but it's just yeah. like yo. This is yeah, like there this is me. This is my. These are my shorts. You know. Yeah, bro. Yeah. There was like there's just days where again I had those blue note shorts and they're so baggy. Mm-hmm. And I'm just continuously picking them up, picking them up, picking them up. 
And there's days where I'd like go reach and pick them up. I'm like, wait, hold on, my fingertip is touching my leg skin. <laughs> so how the fuck am I here? And you go look, right. and it's like, yeah, fuck my. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. just a you little piece skin? of your thigh is yeah. up right here. And you're just like, yo, how the fuck is my thigh meat out right no, now? Facts. Yo, that yeah. shit catches you down bad. And just another, oh my god, I hold feel on, like before I was we just, get uh, anywhere, y'all niggas be hitting the hitting around the corner and just fucking doing the hard reset. Oh, Where, like, yeah. The, oh, you hit the bathroom yeah. and the, yeah, the, the, yeah. the oh, pants are off, yeah. the shorts are off. My hands are yeah. down my pants, like, yeah. literally. Like, Sometimes I yeah. unbutton my fucking pants. To yeah. Just Bells yeah, open. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Let me just Joe, reset. I, be thinking, like, I have... Go ahead. I'm just saying, like, imagine, like, just being a woman and you're just tight, tight jeans. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. In the heat and shit. Yo, shout out all our women, shout man. all the ladies, yeah. man. Tight all the mamas. In the because yeah. in the tight jeans... With no room to, you know, get it out of the mud, if you will. Yeah. Let me Bro, tell you something. Like, no, go ahead. There, there, like, there are like times when I recently started working out before I came here. Mm-hmm. Only because there was times I put on my, my, my like, sweatpants and I'm just like, oof. I'm way too thick in these. I don't like you know? I'm way too, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a couple of eyes in these. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can't do it, man. So yeah. it's just like, go ahead, man. Dude. It's your roof. What was I finna say? Oh, I was gonna say like, yo, you know, I'm a man. Like, I, you know, shout out to ladies. I, I like a G string, but I've always just felt like <laughs> it's gotta be uncomfortable. On your way up for you? No, no, no. Like on my oh. on women, not nah, come on on women, but it's like oh. it's gotta be uncomfortable to just have that like string, shut up your butt crack. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. I never got it. Honestly, I never, I never really got it. You didn't like. like yeah, I'm like I'm, I know. I, like, I can't. Like obviously, like, like I love it. Like, that's not my it. style. It, but it's like I don't know. Like I never got. The, that's gotta be uncomfortable, bro. It's got. It, it can't. Like it can't yeah, like, feel. You catch me in them grannies all day, nigga. If I was, a, <laughs> if I was a lady, you catch me in them granny things, nigga. <laughs> Pull out shorts. Facts. I don't, yo. Because you're in bullshit. Yo, you know what I'm Just imagine, like, <laughs> nigga, take my. Now I have to wear that G string every single my, time, bro. You know? Yeah, if I was a lady, I'd be in ball shorts. Nigga, take my fucking pants off and say, what the fuck? Bro, sometimes they're, they're so small. I'm like, why are you wearing it? Like, like it's not a piece of like, anything. You know, the last piece of fucking toilet paper is just a <laughs> like, fucking thin sheet. I'm like, why? Right. Yo. See it. I, like, I understand if it's like, you know, if it's a date night type of thing. That's like, the next thing. I yeah. get that. Yeah, like, yeah, that daily act. Do that, thing is like, day. do that every day, ma? Like, Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, sh- I don't know. No shorties in a G string twenty four seven. I've never met one. Yo, drop it, yo, yo, drop it, drop it. That's the situation, man. Yo, we fucking back, man. Yo, that's just a- drop them G string comments if you. Yo, fellas too. Don't even. Yo, I know niggas in G strings. Little cap. If you go oh, three God, six yeah. five Check wedgie, out. man, drop that shit in the comments and be <laughs> proud of it. Nah, like, Bro, it's, like yo, it's a it's a demographic and <laughs> niggas buying you know, G strings as well. Bro, I know straight males. Yeah, for sure. Yo, the Italian? Yeah, the boy that yeah, bros. The boy that love, yo. Love a little bit of I can't do this one. I, can't I don't understand. Like, yo, obviously do your thing any day, nigga. Who the fuck am I? No. But the Speedo, we don't have to fuck their shorts, nigga. Why you, why'd you why? choose the Tug. plastic shorts, nigga? Yeah, the plastic bro. fucking underwear. Come bro, on. Why? And then, and then why is it? Okay, Buster Speedos. Love it. But why have? Why do you have to chill on the beach with your hands on your hips? You know you're not looking. You're not looking at nothing, man. Jim. Like you're just trying to flex. Hey, I'm a, I'm in a speedo. I'm in a speedo. I'm in a speedo. Speedy with it, yeah, man. I'm not. I'm, it's not for me. That shit. That's all I'm really say about that. It's not Bro. for me, man. You catch me it's, in a big ass shorts, nigga. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Big ass ball shorts. With me, with my in the beach. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. I had I had fucking boxers under my. Uh, swimming trunks. I have boxes in yeah. the swimming yeah, trunks. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. You know what? I'm a gangster. Gangster. I've escaped that life. I just get the trunks with the lining in them. I'm gonna be honest. I don't do the boxes. I don't have swim trunks. I, have, I got two pairs of swim trunks, and I yeah, it's really. That's I have I, one pair of swim trunks, and I wear them like shorts. I really do it because you know what it is, man. Like I don't. It, it, you just you just get a perfectly good pair of boxer briefs wet. It's done. It's clipped. You bring another perfectly good pair. You bring another one. Yeah. <laughs> but I could just. Dude, the crazy thing is, like, the line. Head, like, I'm so conditioned to this. I hear swim I trunks. I'm like, I see fucking boxers in the Jordan shorts. <laughs> like, you say banana. Oh, you see a banana. Swim shorts. Oh, yeah, fucking. 
Two like, thing, uh, fucking boxers and fucking Nike shirts. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, I feel you. I hundred percent feel you. I don't want to get stuff, canceled man. for that G string shit. Are we okay? Nah, I think we're okay. No. I think Yo. we're okay. I'm no, telling you, you don't I, gotta do that, ladies. That's it. I'm saying like, jeez, you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying like, you know. No, nah, but yeah, it's I, I appreciate it. it. Yeah, I pre- I love it. I love looking at it, but I just I think about I, your comfortable levels. <laughs> it. Speaking of boxers and 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 undies and stuff like that, being back in Toronto has been a little bit rough out here. Mm. Niggas bouncing back and forth. Um, we just you know, niggas bouncing back and forth mm-hmm. across the city. Woo to woo. And you know what I mean? You only have a certain amount of boxes on you, right? right. So mm-hmm. it's just like, in my, and I'm playing basketball and shit, like starting to play a little bit more when I'm out here. So I'm like, I got to wash this stuff. But it's yeah. like, it's kind of adding up. Mm-hmm. The other well, day. subtracting. And subtracting. Just subtracting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. More importantly, it's subtracting. <laughs> the laundry, dirty laundry is adding up, but my fresh boxes. Mm-hmm. It's decreasing, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm looking at my boxers and I'm realizing like I'm starting to do the math and I feel like this one day in particular I was like okay mm-hmm. this is my last pair I'm, I'm gonna rot these get a little text saying hey Trey still pulling up I was like oh fuck I agreed to basketball mm-hmm. but these are my last pair mm-hmm. so about two hours into the day I already took my shower to put these fresh ones on yeah you know, two hours of my day, I just I, I take Wait, them off. Wait, how you going? Right, take you home. <laughs> I just take them off, bro. fold them up. I still don't see where it's going. <laughs> okay, and I just I just put on my I just put on my uh, my compression shorts. To the- yeah, and then I I went and played ball, came home, <laughs> took those boxers, fresh two hours. I just bust them for two hours. Yeah, maybe three. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you whip it hard enough, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's fresh. fresh. Like, fresh. All the dirt just flicks off. It's still fresh. I fucking know it. Was I feel that, man. I <laughs> had to. It was my only decision. But you, you had the compression shorts on, so those those took, you know, those took. Those did the damage. The, the ball could have, yeah, those yeah. took the ball session. That's, come, that's the ball session, man. I shower. Yeah. And Because you, you do the, you do, you do the. The com- briefs and compression shorts, just straight. That's I just do straight compression shorts. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you guys bought the time where I went yeah, to go play basketball. And that, fucking yeah. these African guy play ball against him just compression shorts. Oh yeah, you did. Okay, that <laughs> LeBron be doing that too. Actually, I it makes sense that. though. It does. No shirt, compression shorts. Okay, that's okay. and a high top. Not for recreational basketball. Yeah, you might as well be. If I'm getting paid a lot of money, then yeah, I'll bro, do we're in a speedo with shorts. He was yeah. already sweating. Yeah, and he wanted everyone to guard up. Compression shorts with no, you know what I'm saying? No boxer briefs. That's, you're you're light, man. You're good. You're light, bro. You're good. Let's clap that yeah. shit up, man. Mm-hmm. Clap that shit. Up. Yeah, man. And shout yeah, that to- feeling of just being on the road and then just, like, looking at your situation and just, like, realizing, like, yo, oh, I'm going to have to hand wash these. Yeah. Oh, man. Right here in the sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Using hand soap. That's right. And it's got. never a good job. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, nigga. At one point, I, was, this I, I, was, I, was, I took a Zoom call. And then I finished the Zoom call. I turned around. <laughs> you looking at them drying? I'm like, nigga, my boxes are literally drying <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I had one pair. And I'm like, yo, oh, these are the hand wash ones. I got it. Yeah. We're at zero. <laughs> I think we're <laughs> at zero. <laughs> that crazy. joint dry? I think we ran out the same day or around the same day. Like I think I asked you when I when I was low. I'm like, how many more you got left? Because like, I may have to go to Walmart. Oh, yeah, we're mm-hmm. talking about something. You just revealed your leg. You just like pulled your. Uh, hey, <laughs> <laughs> your sweats. Down. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh. yeah, no. So at that moment, <laughs> at that moment, this is the funny part. <laughs> at that moment, I didn't I didn't find that pair that I had on. Mm. So I was raw dogging. I was just ball shorts to fucking. Straight right. ball sack action. Right. right. So when I showed you, I was like, all right, I got to check in with Jay to see if we can go hit this little laundry mat, clean our clothes. Yeah. So I'm like, Jay, well, how you rocking him? He said he still got something. I'm like, nigga, look. You don't get to show something. You can't even tell Yeah, he's like. Just show him a little skin. I'm like. I live here. Listen, this is how I'm chilling right now. I'm okay for a day, but. Yeah. And I ended up yeah, finding the extra pair. And then uh, I just, I rocked those. the whole situation, man. Shout out my people with large draws, man. Yeah, we getting out the mud. Cause to you gotta like you want to be nice to yourself as you're packing up this bag. You want to be nice to future self. You want to put as many boxes as as humanly possible. Yeah, but then you're like, as if you got big draw, little nigga, you pack draws all day, fucking infinite oh, space, nigga, hand, nigga. Yeah. infinite space. Yeah, big nigga, every draw is like nigga half a pound. I don't even roll up my draws when I pack them. 
Cause you a size anyway, small. Yeah, yeah, I'm size. I'm definitely size small. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I just I was, you got that's, big I'm clothes. Just adding to your point, I just throw them in there. Like my little suitcase oh, got know. like the net at the top. Yeah. Oh, I just throw them in the, the net. net. Yeah, I'll get it. The best in the net. You know what I'm saying? I'm using the net for like. My toothbrush. <laughs> and I guess baggy. Yeah, you know, your toothbrush. Yeah. yeah. It's the only thing I can. Shit gets baggy, yeah. bro. I, I have like a whole like twenty five percent of my thing goes to like boxes and socks. Yeah. What size boxes shit. you in? I ain't never I'm XL with it, man. XL. Damn, nigga. Damn. I rock. I, I rock with a large, but then like I take it off and it looks like I'm fucking bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> like I look. Like I have skin boxes on. <laughs> you know you get the skin creeps. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I try, I try to act so once they're a little baggy on me, so I'm a large. large they get baggy quick when, when I, I'm bulking, so like we yeah, for yeah. sure XO. Yeah. But yeah. then when I lean on them, I, I stay with a large. Yeah. But large is fucking. But even though that's big. It's big. It's big. And, and, and my, me personally, I like my shit's tight. I like my. <laughs> yeah. tight. I'm gonna be yeah, real. Yeah, like, you made me close to G string. You don't even know it. <laughs> you made me close. Like you made me like. <laughs> This is where the niggas yeah, yeah. the G-string They're at like very like, Extra small Like they just I push As far as If you look at it at, From the perspective Like the amount of material It's less Like you're No It's like no, G-string no, and then, like, smaller though No it's so not That's less. what I'm saying Next year you may go XS No And then after no, XS no. You like it tight No, no it's, it's tight It's good It's never enough It's good I'm It's, good. I'm it's never enough lose, After XS you go to kids Nah you're wallet You're wallet You know what No <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Yo, it got rocky. I'm Jamaican. You know what oh I'm God, saying? So yeah. Sometimes you get you get you get a pack of briefs. See? Yeah. My aunt. One time, my aunt and Saga gave me a pack of briefs. They were just the largest sizing kids. <laughs> Sported those, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You know <laughs> Perfect fit. <laughs> perfect. You know what I'm saying? The perfect auntie. Thank, Thank you. you. You know what I'm saying? Those weren't the those weren't uh, boxer briefs though. You're busting undies. Nah, those were it was boxer briefs this time. This wasn't. Yeah, this was maybe tits. like this was this Dragon was like Ball Z ten years ago. So this is not super far. Ago. <sighs> Damn, that's funny. It had man. design on it. Nah, it was just Fruit of Loom. It was just Fruit of Loom. She it's actually, you know, what? it's kind of she had bought it for my little cousin, but she bought it way too big for him. It's like yeah, I just give it to the <laughs> adult. <Sheldon. laughs> Everyone's else is way the adult. Yo, I'm, oh, I've been Sheldon. the skinny. I'm the skinniest one in my family. I've been that way, so she just uh, she had a point because they fit. Yeah, they fit perfect. And, you know, I mean, I like stacking up on boxer briefs. You know, I like to have a plethora. I like to have options. You know, mm. yo, who's buying all the ankle socks, man? That's what I need. I the ankle socks right now. Who's wearing ankle socks? socks? No, huh? I don't do those. No. I don't like that shit. That's what I'm saying, nigga. Who I'm likes? Who's out here buying? Okay. I did. I did double yeah. check. Yeah. We both checked. Like, yeah, we buying ankle socks. <laughs> No, I ain't bought those since like five. No, there's the ankles. Someone is definitely touching their ankles right now. Um, they I got know. levels of the shit. There's above the ankles. There's the ankle, and then there's below the ankle. Oh, the low rise those ankle are, socks. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Remember those shoes that girls used to wear, and when they take it off, they fold up into yeah. a fucking half moon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, 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 are, those flats. Those socks are made from flats, right? Or like flats. They're like. Fucking pebbles. It's like they got like the whole like, like the whole top of their foot is exposed, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm talking about. I was like, why do no. they curl like that? They were a thing though. Like, remember those slippers? I were like, for sure, five dollar. Uh, like, yeah, I think they're yeah, like a, the, the those were Asian thing. joints. Asian, no, Asian, 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 Asian slippers. Two separate ones. There's the Asian slippers. Those are like the dollar bones. Crazy, ones crazy. Like five dollars or something like that. It's the wildest craze. Huh? It was the wildest craze in the GTA for some reason. Crazy. Like, everyone yeah. fucking handles dollars. Even in New York, it's going crazy. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, so there's those. And then when it's like, yo, you want to go to, like, let's just say you go to a bar or something like that, you can upgrade to the slides and go mm-hmm. to the, just the, the, the curly the, joints. The curly joints. What were they called? They were a craze, though. It was just curly slippers, man. And curly things, yeah. Anyway, we're, we're trying to get a picture up, man. Yeah. I know, yeah. Hey, go ahead, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how's it feel being back in Toronto? Oh, shit. Like people probably won't know that. Oh. Shit, man. Oh. Shit, cool. I, I, it, I, I just think it's cool to like leave uh, like a familiar environment mm-hmm. after being there for such a long time. Yeah. Um, and just getting a different perspective. Like, I, it doesn't have to be like, yo, I fucking moved to wherever I'm going permanently, but just to like, mm-hmm. you know, just get a different experience, get some perspe- perspective on, um, like I said, the environment you're in, you're in, you're gonna notice shit that you miss and shit that you clearly didn't need. Right. Um, so I feel like there's a, a bit of that going on. Some shit I miss, some shit I'm like, eh. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good I'm leaving that shit behind. Yeah. Right. So I'm not always of, around us, at least. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, 100%. <clears throat> that makes sense. Definitely see a lot of. <clears throat> Damn. I definitely see a lot of. Um, I guess. Weed I mean, stores. Guess you, huh? A lot of weed stores now. Yeah, a lot of weed stores. Fuck, yeah, weed I think that's store, crazy. Weed store, yeah. weed store, empty. Weed store, weed yeah. store, weed store. Fucking crane buildings. There's a bunch of new shit that's building, but mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think just coming back because yeah, just, just just to piggyback on what Jay saying, I feel like it's like a lot of growth just to see that because you don't really know how much of a pattern you're in until you kind of like step back. You know what I mean? Like you don't know you're in a maze until you come out that bitch and then look mm. at it and say, oh, I'm in a maze. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like yeah. <clears throat> the normal shit that we're used to back then like i don't really find the need to like maybe go do those certain things i was like doing before i'm like ah, like i'm cool to just go ahead and do this and like i you know what i mean like i know what i'm like yeah. cool with so but it's, it's cool to be, of, it's, yeah go ahead okay. it's cool to be back it's, 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 it's for it's, sure it's, yeah it's definitely it's a, positive a cool experience. feeling a different feeling i feel like i'm i feel like i definitely came back and i have like a different view mm-hmm. of like life and shit mm-hmm. yeah I i'm there. almost coming back with like more <clears throat> i guess we're kind of getting into this on our way out of toronto but it's like we know specifically what like what like what we want to be around and shit who right. we want to be around just whereas like before it would be like yo let's take the path that's gonna fucking where we're gonna see most people like right yeah. and then now it's like eh, let's take the fucking back road with the people that we came with like we're going right. to lunch we're not taking a fucking busy route we're trying to right 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 stay chill or man low-key yeah. just fucking yeah yeah not even for say like people who watch the videos or anything like that but just even just, like, are, just the, the, the networking yo, baby, and yeah, certain it's to watch to watch say that yeah. it's like I feel yeah. like downtown, you're forced to see people, mm-hmm. and it's just like, I can't, I, fuck, I said this literally the other day, and I also say I say it literally all the time, but I literally, it's just, <laughs> things are just literal. It was literally the other day. Yeah, yeah, life is literal, man. Yeah. But, for real. Mm-hmm. But I appreciate someone that understands, like, I appreciate someone that understands where a nigga going and what a nigga doing, like. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I I feel like downtown sometimes people are just so caught up with their own selves. It's like they see someone, they feel like I have to stop, we have to talk, we have to say everything, we have to catch up. And sometimes it just makes it awkward because you're trying to force something. Like I've seen some people where it's just like mm-hmm. I don't like downtown for some reasons because if I go out and I touch road, it's like now force have a conversation with someone that I'm like, bro, I'm not really trying to even be here. You know what I mean? Where right. it's like versus right. a nigga sees me, yo, what's up, man? Keep pushing. I'm just like, I'm still going. If I want to stop, we gotta stop. You're gonna know it's a vibe to stop say hey what's up but yeah like jermaine saying it's like I, <clears throat> i'm cool to do stuff that we regularly do but it's like in a mannered like in a controlled setting yeah that makes sense you know what i mean it's like yeah. so people don't know if we stop on the streets like, I'm, I'm, I'm not really trying to be stopped on this street for like fucking you know what i mean too long you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, crazy right. shit will start happening here like you know what mm-hmm. i mean like some people don't understand this is i guess maybe awareness do you think do you think that's part of I guess just your natural growth, like maturity, or do you think that's like uh, connected to COVID? <laughs> that's just me. Man. I don't like being there. like it, we. Are, I don't like being the tallest nigga in the room, but we're the tallest niggas in the room all the time. So I always complain about like, bro, I feel like I'm blocking people. I just think too much. So I, like you know, like uh. if I'm somewhere, I'm, I'm okay to be at somewhere. But sometimes people will see us somewhere and stop us, and like I feel I hate being like stopped somewhere. I'm like I didn't set I didn't set on stopping here. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't yeah, like. I'm trying to think of a good example. But I mean, so that's, like, well, we, yeah. But that's the that's the same. That's that's <laughs> that might be the same thing for the people that are stopping you. They might. I wasn't even planning to see Trey here, but fuck, he's here. Let's keep pushing. Let's here, keep it pushing. I feel that. Nah, for sure. I think. No I think stop. you know. Even me, like any celebrity that I've interacted with, like <clears> or you know, person that I've been a fan of, I've never done long drawn out interactions you know what i'm saying it's always been just like you could say what you got to say really quick you know what i'm saying like, yeah you're talking about acquaintances too and shit. Like, i'm talking about just acquaintances and oh, all that. Yeah, oh. i'm not even talking about people stoppers but <laughs> on that note means <laughs> on that note <laughs> get to it on that note it's, that just, it's so weird because like like obviously whatever niggas are probably gonna say this but you know you know it's personal niggas don't move like we fucking george bush and shit yeah no but. not at all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you jinx, yeah <laughs> but like Justin Bieber, niggas will see us on the street and be like, "Oh, what you doing here?" Like, yeah, 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 yeah. what you do? Where, nigga, where's here? Yeah, mm. in a city, Toronto. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck coffee? y'all doing here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing here? <laughs> 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 like, like they caught me doing something. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Look what we have here. <laughs> yeah. 
That shit, I feel like that shit throws me off like a lot when niggas be just kind of just throwing some shit. I'm like, wait, hold on. I don't, you're right. I don't even know how to answer that because it's like the answer is so fucking obvious. What mm-hmm. am I doing here? I'm sitting outside talking to my gang. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> sitting right here. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, I think the difference of moving out of Toronto is just like not having to handle and balance and fucking manage other people's like energy that they may not, may not even know that they're giving out. Right. Orlando, you're just like, just ourselves around in own space. I'm seeing Jermaine, seeing Julian, mm-hmm. and back in my crib. Yo, it just made me realize how much I'm not doing out there. Like, yeah. here is like every day, yo, we got here, we check here, here, check so and so, pull up here, and then that. I'm at home, nigga. Mm-hmm. Gym. Nothing. Yeah. Wow. To the point where I think I almost have anxiety sometimes where I'm like, I feel like I mm-hmm. have to be doing something. I'm like, fuck, all we have to do is this, this, and then like. In Florida or here? In Florida. Because mm. I feel like out here, it's like. Interesting. It's like when you go out and it's like you leave your crib, you're not coming back to like the end of the day. Like that's the life. Like I remember we we went out to go see a friend and um <clears throat> started in the day and then it was carrying on and like we got invited to a club. And mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, we just agreed to come out for coffee today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we like you know what I mean? Like it, mm-hmm. it was just it was just right. a funny thought in my head. I'm like, bro, what like it's that easy to mm-hmm. just say, I'm down. Yeah. Julian's gonna look you down. I'm like, let's it, go. But is that is that more so like the lack of the lack of the light switch? So to speak, of Toronto. What do you mean? What do you mean, light switch? Like of other people? Yeah, just because like I felt like when I lived in Branson, like even 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 now living in North York, like outside the city a little bit more, like I felt like I could turn it off when I, especially when I went home to Branson, I felt like I just turned that busy body. You know, you know, you had that drive in you, like you still got to go back home. (laughs) Toronto's like I'm right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you. You don't really t- you don't really turn it off because you're just in it all the time, which is in Toronto. You see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I feel like, like Toronto, people forget to turn it off because in Florida it's kind of it's off. <clears throat> yeah, right. Essentially, I feel like people here, like again, like the maze reference, like you forget like what yeah, you're okay, in because yeah, yeah, everything's yeah, so like go, go 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 go. Right, right, right. right so right, it's like right, right like sometimes you yeah. It was a nice moment. To, it's a nice moment to step back. Honestly, yeah, nice yeah, moment to step yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. But I'm just more. I'm, I'm. I'm. You said you mentioned anxiety when you're like not physically doing mm. things. I'm more. <clears throat> I hate when I'm doing too much of like nothing. Really, you can have like a full day of like I didn't really fucking. What did we do? <clears throat> a lot of just fucking nothing. Mm. Here's been different. We're coming back. We're seeing uh, people after a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're like we're kind of hanging out, also working at the same time. Shit. I know this but, would get old though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah. I sure. feel like he, being here before we really started to chill in Toronto. Because there's a time where we got downtown, everything's exciting, everything's new, we're all over the place, bouncing around, they just like slowed down, and so eventually we're just like, fuck, we're just always home. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was just, those times I was getting tired of just like, yo, we had like a full week, I'm like, I didn't fucking work on anything, but we did yeah. so fucking much, and I'm right, tired right, and exhausted, right. I'm like, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So Orlando was just like, yeah, I got to, I get to just focus on, mm-hmm. what the fuck do you want to do right now? Like, there's nothing else, there's no distractions. Right, <clears throat> right. Or it's just much less to ease. It's much less to 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 try and avoid. Yeah, it's much less more time to yourself. Like I'm not going fucking downtown Orlando, nigga. I'm not. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not really. That's yeah. the thing with here. Like me, I'm not going out, but like it's easy for me to know someone that's maybe hosting a party or it's their birthday or something. So it's there's more reason for you to go do something. Yeah. Whereas it's like, bro, who the fuck am I leaving my girlfriend? Like, yeah, this nigga's gonna ask me, yo, yo, my B day downtown, yeah, Orlando. Yeah, buy a shirt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, what's up, nigga? Like, I'm, I are, uh, like, since we've been back, I already got invited to like three birthday parties, and and one nigga asked me to host a party. Yeah. <laughs> and I said the same thing. I'm like, nigga, you know damn well. Yeah. I ain't hosting it. Yeah. I Anyways, mate, I want to take this time and invite y'all out. Next week, we're going Next. up. Yeah. <laughs> we're going hosting parties is weird for me, okay? One, <clears throat> like you're supposed to what, bring the energy up. Like, I'm not. It's a That's fucking, fine. we're in a room, nigga, yes. very loud music. I'm not yeah. that excited. Can't the do it. Is- Two, there's times where people, when we used to host parties, we used to say yes to a lot of shit. Right. And I knew I didn't want to do it. Anyways, I do it, and then they're like, "Yo, don't worry about it. You're just hosting a party. Just say what a little one, two on the mic, and then you just fucking yeah. sit down, just collect your money." I'm just like, "That I feel bad then." That's yeah, right. Like, right. This is work. I'm sitting in the booth, fucking just getting wasted and shit, free bottle. Yeah. What's up, John? Niggas, I. Right? <laughs> Back <laughs> on the mic. The mic's so. mic all muffled and shit. They can't even fucking. No one's hear listening to me. Like, right, fuck y'all, yeah. so bro. And it's always like the thing about that shit. They really undersell the shit. You don't gotta do nothing. Just pull up, sit down, easy money. I'm like, hey, you're making me feel like a 
dickhead because I don't like this doesn't feel genuine. Right. But then they're in there, you 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 get a little sauce up, enjoying the moment, and out of nowhere you just chill with your boys and then just pull up with the mic and just fucking. Yeah. You see a mic pointing at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, y'all mother. And you're not ready for y'all niggas ready. <laughs> like, what uh, you don't know what's on it. Yeah. Just like, there's no, yeah. I'm oh, y'all yeah, boys don't even know. Yeah. I remember one time. I remember one time I had story. I think Brian gave me the mic. While they're switching DJs. So I'm just oh, like, yo, y'all, yo, yo, we about to go stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yo, who tried that vibe? Nigga put his laptop yeah. up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Once this nigga get hooked up, we about to go stupid. You see, the difference between like you facing the crowd and then you facing your people in, in, the, yeah. in the fucking, <laughs> the equipment people running the shit, the DJs and shit. like, y'all good? Everything cool? <laughs> y'all good? Everything cool? Y'all good? Y'all good? <laughs> Keeping it chill and shit. Yo. Yeah. I think, <laughs> my, my thing was just like, the people that be hosting parties sometimes, it's like, does this really excite somebody going? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, to see what? You know what I'm saying? To see <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, oh, what am I going to see there? <laughs> yeah. Like, Get to the point. Their picture be big as fuck on the flyer. It's like, that's it's a selling point. I just and that, how is that a so it's you in like a shirt, shit. nigga? <laughs> and it's an old pick. It has nothing to do with the like, I don't have a nigga. beard anymore. <laughs> Come <laughs> pop bottles with me. I don't even have a beard anymore. That's okay. Oh no, I don't get that. Niggas be like, bro, you be oh my god. It's just like I don't like the club because it's just like one, it's just it's such a difficult place to operate. You can't yeah. talk to anyone. There's loud music playing, there's nothing me and you are saying. It's always just like some drunk guy stepping on your shit or talking mm-hmm. too loud. Mm-hmm. We went out to go eat the other day. We, you guys are going to see in the vlog coming up. We're just eating, and it's just this nigga fucking yells, Yo, dog! Yo, dog! I just fuck everything I'm saying. So he yells it in the restaurant. We pay, we get out, they wait outside. Yo, dog! Yeah. And then his girl's just like, oh my god. He's like, yo, you didn't know? You didn't know? Like, how are you supposed to know we're in there? Yeah. Then he's like trying to like join it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, come here. <laughs> oh, yo, bro. And the club is just filled with like that, drunk people that, that like. 10 and then loud music. Oh, Everybody loud music. Moms in their waist yeah. and they're, they're saying this shit and fucking. Oh. You know what I hate? I hate when I'm in the club. I don't know what to do. So, but then I'm on my phone and I feel like waste for being on my phone. You know what I mean? Just play, yo, for I need a prop though for sure, nigga. Yeah, it's, 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 I need yeah, to be the yeah, nigga doing song, something and you know, the nigga with the cup over there, not the nigga just fucking looking yeah, around bro. hands to the side and shit. Yeah. The thing is, when I used to go to the clubs, I got a lot of videos of me like, oh, like just like people record me dancing, but like kind of just to myself. Yeah. I like I love Especially I, when you get the 30 the 20 20 minutes of hip hop. Oh my mm-hmm. I hate you know I'm saying? telling you, I don't like going to the clubs. But I love vibing them, them, vibing in them with my guys. If we're all in there, we have our drinks and yeah. I'm chilling. I can chill it all night. Well, I like one, two, one. Especially when they when they let you just smoke it out. It's yeah. just it's a smoke house yeah. now. Yeah. I'm getting switched to house sloppy, baby. Yeah, I, feel like <laughs> so. I feel like one of the things that made me end my hosting days was fucking like organizers or party throwers who are like playing it cool right, just come through man just, fucking don't, just do your thing just lean back just yeah. enjoy your money man blah 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 and then I'm there and it's like we're in the grind and then like some sticky shit happens and you're just like they come up they have these ideas like yo um, fucking so my boy's girl's in the in the crowd now so she's coming out so if you just like get on the mic I don't know just, just do something make it fun <laughs> this. what's up <laughs> Uh, happy birthday to you, Tiana. Yeah, to oh, Tiana. Tiana. Okay, Tiana. fuck. Tiana, Tiana, Tiana uh, turn up bad. one time. Oh, no, Tiana, Tiana died. Tiana, we're, we're, this is for her. Oh, man. <laughs> R.I.P. Kiana, turn this bitch up. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just, I don't know. I, ain't I do I enjoy that. I can go to a party, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo. It's been a minute. I, the my, is, my anxiety my just anxiety with COVID won't, it won't allow me. It ha- fuck right. that. It has to be in the right setting. Yeah, I like a good party where it's just like, okay, I know it's gonna be controlled. I know it's not gonna be no bullshit. I know it's gonna be free drinks. Mm. I know there'll be beef sliders. When the that's, good sliders hey, are there, that's Jay, a good fucking time. That's the type of party I'm on. Yeah, yeah. 
I host that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Shout out to Apple. Time. Yeah, yeah, that man. boy Shelda, Shelda, yeah, tell him. Yeah. Shelda, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah man. Yeah, man. That's crazy. It's crazy. Talk to us, man, it's from crazy. the 8 to the 13, it man. Some, man. It's just alignment, really. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Step into your alignment, cuz. <laughs> 13 Pro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Fuck. We hit that nigga Shelda with a picture. <laughs> put, put a picture on the screen, Jack. I'll text it to you. Mm -hmm. Sheldon said, and I quote, Man, I miss my exit right now. <laughs> Come straight down. <laughs> I miss this exit right now. And come straight there. We got the boxes here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, For, yeah shout out to the to, to our wonderful team at Apple. We are shooting this podcast with All iPhone 13 new Pros. iPhone 13 Pros. Yes, we are. And Sheldon has his iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah, in hand, today we went on a farm and we uh, we tested all these great features. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. fucking sick. Yeah, it's a great um, device, man. A lot of power in this little yo, device here. Trust oh, me, I gotta I'm, you gotta step back sometimes. And like, yeah. yo, we're in the fucking future. You know how cool yeah. if you showed if you showed a picture of what I'm holding right now, this phone. Yeah. To the kid that was like, fucking geeking out over the fucking iPod Classic. Yeah. 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 We got to talk yeah. about something, Jay. What's that? Synchronicity. Oh, Because the way the world has been lining up with us, because, and I ain't even going to, listen, niggas, I ain't even finna tell them our secret, because I feel like that's personal to us, but certain things I can share. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like the cap, the, the young nudie the cap them story. With the cap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. That's but pretty fucking random. It's wild that that we're talking about the iPhone and we're like, yo, this is so crazy that we're holding like the future in our hand and we kind of stopped the moment to talk about that conversation. Then the Apple today talked to the Apple, uh, uh, you know what I mean, our Apple peoples, and then they stopped to say like, this is the fucking future in our hand. Mm -hmm. The exact same tone. And I was like, it, I kind of got chills. I'm like, yo, we had literally said the exact same thing. Me, yeah. literally. There I go again. It's a fucking future, bro. Yeah, man. It's crazy. On G and L. It really is, man. To know that this is gonna, this is the phone. Yeah. Clap it up for that damn phone, man. Man. Show my people who've been rocking since the first iPhone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the iPod Touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First iPhone I had it was a 3GS. Hell yeah. That's a good one to start with. You yeah. went milky or you went cream? It was I mean, hard black. It was black. It was black. But I had a milky, a milky case on it though. Yeah. I did. Of course you did. Yeah, I did. Because I wanted the white one, but look at Gigi deal. You know, I got the black one. You know about B Drive? No. OG shit. Yeah. OG shit. Yeah. shit. I, you know, I had that iPhone for a very little amount of time because I was working at this place, this retail store, and then. It was just not doing good. Just never had customers in there. So eventually, they just everyone just started getting less and less hours. Mm, you know, maybe about, after like nine, ten months. So ones. I had to just, you know what I'm saying? I had to get rid of the iPhone because, you know, I had to be responsible. I wasn't going to keep that yeah. and run it up. Yeah. So I didn't really explore the iPhone like that. And then I was on Android for the next couple of years. And then I came. Really? Back. Yeah. Because I was down <laughs> bad. Like, you know, because I, you know, I was like, I'm, you know, I was, my family wasn't getting me no fucking phone. You know, <laughs> they weren't doing it. It must drop your credit. That was all I heard. So <laughs> yeah, I had to get when I had to get a job, then I get a phone. You know what I'm saying? So if I didn't have a job, I ain't mm. no phone. You know what I'm saying? Apple pushed that narrative of a new phone price. A rack? Yeah. That's a starting price. You wanna fuck with us? 959. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Apple? <laughs> <laughs> the jobs nigga you know, it's it's like, creeping up over the years too. It's like a, yeah. oh, 400 for 500 for 700 for yeah. Bro. Nine, and then they started doing like lesser models. So it's like you can get the phone for eight hundred dollars. Well, you only have sixteen gigs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Three You're gonna take three pictures, five songs, I one video. <laughs> I've always felt like Apple was like it was just like that one one friend at school just flexing on me every year but it's something I just couldn't get. Mm. It's just like they dropped the classic and they start off with fucking 20 gigs. Next year they come, hey, we doing 256. This year. <laughs> Double the speed, three times the brightness. <laughs> yeah, what you wanted, right? <laughs> oh, you over there 30 nits, nigga, yeah. <laughs> Listen, iPod Touch, nigga, 32 gigs. I'm start there. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> one more thing, nigga, headphones. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> and they come with the, hey, listen, 
Super monkey ball. <laughs> New levels. <laughs> New skins, nigga. When they started bringing up, oh my God. Do you, do you Y'all be watching the keynotes and shit? <sighs> I, huh? Are y'all keynote nerds? I watch keynotes, sometimes, but sometimes uh, I, I usually be watching the highlights. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Little CNET chop downs. Yeah, you know. <laughs> iPhone, <laughs> new cap, <laughs> <laughs> fucking no more home button. <laughs> I'm watching the highlights, man. Just sum that shit up for me. Because they yeah, still got to come out and do it all. The, you know, Roll out, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But it's just that it hadn't been. I mean, RP Jobs, man. You know how we rocking over here, man. For sure. Nah, I thought Jobs would get some sort of. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah, man. man. RP my dog. Man. Made this all possible. 2020 is 2021 is almost over. Isn't that fucked? Yeah. I'm just like, yo, I'm just like, take me. Like, let's go for the time right. <laughs> just take me to 50, nigga. We're doing it. We're not slowing down, so let's fucking do it. Yeah. Yo, honestly, I I honestly, really and take... truly, I've had a really good 2021. Yeah. Uh I've I feel like it's gonna end really well for me. I feel like I'm really excited about the next, especially this time of year. I think it's just like probably the best time of the year to be honest like next to maybe like mm, the beginning I feel like the beginning and the middle of the year are like the best times of the year so I feel like I feel really good about the remaining months but I don't know if I would say it was like really good I say it wasn't bad for sure man time is an illusion nigga <laughs> oh gee Check me out yeah. man time, that. my old folk turned turn 31 he said, man, I'm getting old. I said, boy, that's in your head. Yeah, it really is, though. Bro, I'm fucking young, nigga. Bro, yo, bro you're going to see me at 42. I'm yeah. a fucking young guy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah. bro, you could, you could, I, yeah, I've been here for four of them. Yeah. But I'm four of them. I'm young, yeah, you, know, so. you know what I'm saying? Bro, it's just, it's just an illusion. And it's like that little illusion can get niggas trapped. In a headspace of like, oh my god, I'm old. I have yeah. no more time for this. I have no more time for that. I'm like, bro, like, I can't bro, they think that. they're running out of time, nigga. You're gonna run out of time for another fucking sixty years. Yeah, right. You niggas probably don't live to ninety and shit, but like another. Yeah. How are you running out of time? You have like fucking forty years. <laughs> you have forty more years to basically yeah. where you can't walk anymore. Nigga, that's a lot of fucking time. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a good thing to do that. Thirty. Bro. Not even niggas. Yeah. I know niggas were not even thirty. They're like fucking old, oh, nigga. Yeah. Bro, and shit. Shit. Like, dog. Twenty. My boy, twenty, I think twenty five. <clears throat> now, granted, he's an athlete, so I understand that. Like, you know, you're trying to get the best years of your athletic life, right? But yeah, he was like, "Yeah, man, we're getting old. Like, you're older than me, shot." I'm like, "Bro, I'm not old. You could talk to yourself. Don't talk yeah. to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight. I'm not old, bro. Don't come. You can talk to talk to you. Do what you want to do about yourself, but I'm not old, bro. I'm twenty eight. People literally old. ask me how old I am, and I sometimes forget because I'm like, I want to yeah. say a young age because I'm oh fuck, sorry. Mm -hmm. Because like yeah, why, and, Bro, why? I for, I, I've given like two different answers to different people and shit. I'm like, one day I'm thirty, one day I'm fucking twenty nine. Yeah. So <laughs> why is it that niggas? Why is it that people say I'm getting old and not? Oh, I'm getting old and see that as a bad thing instead of saying like right. using it as a good thing as a, oh yo I'm mentally I'm like I'm old I'm mature I'm like on a different level you know what I'm saying like yeah I'll. I'm old. Up here, I'm like, I'm not all the way there, but I'm like, I'm definitely a lot wiser than, you know what I'm saying, than my last years, but it's just right. like, I'm a and different not, age. You know how dog years travel different? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I got you. No, for sure. Boy, I, to, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think Jermaine made a good point earlier. Is like, niggas that feel old at 24, 25, like, I look at my 24, 25, I'm like, I was a baby, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's just going to, that's going to be when you hit every age. Depending on how you look at yourself, right? You you gonna look at it like that. When I hit when I hit forty, I'm gonna be like, man, when I was thirty, I was so young. Right. I, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, bro, I think it's really however you want. It's, it's your perspective on it. It's your perspective. It's how you want to live your life. And to me, I think it's, it's better to live it feeling like you got more of it to live than you're running out of it. Yeah. That can't be fun, bro. The and you're, you're like you're here regardless. Like yeah. You're here anyway. You're yeah, standing. I mean, I'm fucking old. Like just, mm -hmm. You spend that one second and say you're getting old instead of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. not to say fucking sit there and you know, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We try to show this podcast. People say, "Oh yeah, check out our podcast. We have a show." And you know it's like you, it's, you get on the show, you log in, and yeah, that's how I do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but y'all know what we saying, though. Know, like if you're real, you know what's going down, dog. Yeah, that's <clears> that is, man. I, that's, yeah. Someone, someone said to us. um, we get. I forgot how exactly how the quote went, but it was, just, it was something along the lines of, you know, we getting old. I gotta stop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what's the quote? 
was bad shit. Yeah, like that was an exact quote, but it was something along the lines of you know what I mean, like yo, we getting older, like yeah, time to sear yourself. Look, I think there I are never understood. Yeah, that. there are things that like I would not do now that I did when I was like, like I wouldn't wear colored jeans, you know. Yeah, that's different. But I think that's me and though. That's, that's not. I don't, that's not society telling me. That's me, bro. That's I, that's where I'm not at mm. anymore. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't think there's an age limit on anything. If you still generally want to do that shit, do that shit. You know what I mean? But if you generally move out of it, then fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel that. You know what I mean? This nigga was talking about sports and shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about something totally <laughs> different. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not you and the Trey. I know you didn't mention it, but yeah, the no, person no, he's like, talking about was talking about, about oh, So, yeah, nigga, like, you know you can't play basketball in the morning. Get all this shit. Man. Oh, that really? I was like, I'm like, yo, you, so you, first off, younger I'm than like, me. yo, you still hoop? Now you know nigga getting old now. Like, no, like recreational basketball, yeah, nigga. You fucking yeah. put the ball in the net sometimes, nigga. <laughs> Play that, <laughs> and the niggas talking like it threw me off because the niggas say, "Yeah, yeah, you know, man, just getting older, gotta watch your body now." Yeah, I'm like, wait, hold on. And I, I do. We were born the that same that. year. Up and stop <laughs> doing cardio, <laughs> nigga. Got, come on, nigga. You got stress, <laughs> stiff with me, brother. <laughs> we're born the same year. I'm like, I'm trying to think. I'm like, fuck. Trying to think about retiring from ball right now. Like, is that the Asia where I? Hell no. Nah. That's good. That's a good cardio workout right there, man. Shout out my dog. I may be in Toronto, but my heart's in Orlando, man. Shout out my dog Mario, man. I'm missing you for real. I know you sure, probably man. not watching, but in my heart, you watching, man. Because he's a he's an old man, but he's a young soul. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah. fire. Healthy. Yeah. Healthy. Healthy. You know what I'm Mentally healthy. Yeah. Man. Man. Sure, look, you want I'm old, I'm going to be aged. Facts. Huh? When I'm old, I'm going to be aged, nigga. Facts, yeah. bro. bro. I'm just a fucking just nigga smarter. Shit. You know how much shit I've been through, nigga? You know me fucking... Mistakes are corrected, nigga. It just sucks. It Ooh. just sucks to Ooh, let that ball breathe real quick. Hold on, say it one time. Say it one time. I said, you know how many mistakes I correct. Ooh. Ooh. You know, old person. Ooh. You fucking, especially if you're learning from your shit, not complaining about everything. Mm-hmm. It's like fuck everything is anyway, nigga. Might as well fucking make the best of it. Fucking learn from it. I know I can take my own advice too, nigga. I don't fucking just fucking breeze through life on some chill shit. Yeah, not for sure. These niggas ain't you definitely know. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know how to drive, but sometimes yeah, you veer a little bit. And mm-hmm. you, sometimes you just, but because you know how to drive, you fucking like you know bring yeah, your steering yeah. wheel back to the center. Yeah, I be like this sometimes. Sometimes you gotta hit some pylons or shit. Like, yeah, you know, <laughs> bad and shit. Like, I come back. Yeah, but yeah, nah, I like that. I don't know, nigga. Fucking, yeah, man. I mean, hey, it's your life, bro. You can not if you want. Fuck, just be miserable, but do what you need to do. Do man. what you need to do. It's just. You know what I'm saying? Saying. Where were you going with that alignment stuff when you said <clears throat> talking about getting mm-hmm. iPhone 13? Uh, what I say? Yeah, we talked about you getting the iPhone 13 Pro. You're like, oh yeah, alignment. because um, I had been recently just thinking to myself about getting a new phone and telling certain people about getting a new phone. Um, and I was thinking about just you know, I was just doing the budget in like you know, get a new phone, maybe like Boxing Day or whatever, mm-hmm. new deal, or whatever. Maybe I'll take on a new contract. So, like since you know, just for me, like. Every, Especially since I moved out, I just feel like there's been alignment in a lot of a lot of places, and I feel like just same thing you said about synchronicity. Like that's mm-hmm. that's the word I've been using like crazy, like since September, like for real, like synchronicity. Man, alignment. It's such a subtle thing. It's kind of yeah. like it sounds almost dopey to fucking talk about it. Yeah, but it's like I could literally, I could tell that I'm starting to. It's starting to be, become more clear to me, like when I'm like in sync and when I'm not in sync. Yeah, like I could, I could tell, and I know better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can see it, when you I can stop see it in just, someone's eyes sometimes. It's usually when I stop slowing down. Yo, and like, man. yo, just fucking meditate for the morning. Yeah. Because sometimes I get into a habit of just like, yo, like, we be so busy. Like, yo, I know I'm waking up to emails even though it's early. I know I'm waking up to calendar updates and da-da-da, this, that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I get into the, like, I fall out of like, yo, wake up, don't look at your phone, fucking yeah. have your morning, meditate. Yeah. Slow down, right? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Think. Um, yeah, as soon as I stop doing that, I just fall out of it. <laughs> And mm. the shit becomes just so much. I don't know. I feel like I'm. I gotta like use more effort to just continue through every day. When right. whereas when you're in sync and just yeah, I don't know, nigga. It just yeah, fucking it just works. Goes. I can't explain you it. You can't explain it. You don't really think. You don't really premeditate. Yeah. Much. It doesn't make sense that it's easier. Yeah. It does. On paper, it doesn't. Yeah. No, maybe on paper it does. No. When you just hear it, I feel <laughs> like it does. does. I feel like it doesn't. Like when you think about like. All the shit that you want to do, it'd be like it's it, it, it can sometimes be taxing. It could be like fuck, like how am I gonna get all that done or get it done on that level? Right. And you just start going through the motions, and it's just like how shit just click up. Like 
It's crazy though, for yeah, real. Like sometimes when you just like go ahead and just start something, mm-hmm. like even if it's like a, a, a huge goal, even if you just like start like I don't know, nigga, make the account for yeah. your fucking the page that you want to start, mm-hmm. or just open the bank account where you're gonna put all the money in. Yeah, I think nigga fuck the bank. That's another time. <laughs> we're talking we're talk that later. <laughs> later. Fuck that shit. Scam. For real. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Just like taking that first step. I know a lot of people just go, oh, yeah, I want to do this and think of this. Oh, what, what have like. you done to get towards that? Nothing. Yeah. Well, how the fuck? Yeah. Niggas expect to like, see the opportunity and just like jump at it, but you got to be ready for that opportunity. It, and it's like, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? weird. Yeah. Cause you really, mm-hmm. you really be like thinking something like no one's about to come and save you, bro. <laughs> like, but you be really mm-hmm. thinking, like, I know I, for me, GPs. I remember. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm, I know, like, I don't know. For some, I feel like I spent like a good three, four years, like, not knowing what I needed to do, but thinking, like, if something's going to happen eventually. But, like, I wasn't doing anything, and I don't think that was productive, but I don't know. It's a weird place to be in, but if you have to actually do shit, like, you have to, bro. Like, and Yo. to even allow the alignment to happen, like, you have to put something, like, you got to push something. Put yeah. something out. Like, yeah. Put, like, put, like, make your actions reflect, mm-hmm. you know, the type of life or, you know what I'm saying, or the thing you're, you're trying to attract. Yeah. Like, Mindful, how is mindfulness, law of attraction, like, all that shit, bro. Like, the way you speak to yourself, all that shit. Dog. It's all part of the, it's it all part of why people. your alignment will happen if it if it's supposed to happen. The thing that's crazy. You say it's so hard for record. Yeah, okay. I don't know how many times I'm cutting you off because it's so hard to hear like when you're actually talking. But I can hear shells, so it's, yeah, I keep thinking I can hear you. Right. Um but this this part of getting out of the mud. Um what was I gonna say? It's 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 kind of like the there's a saying of uh, when you're lost, uh, not not all who like wander are are, are no. lost. Yeah. It's kind of like that saying where it's just like sometimes you're just figuring it out, and it's just you're trying to figure out what pieces to line up because you can't. Yeah. You're not just gonna know line this up, line this up, line this up. But like Jermaine is saying, you know you want to do this, you know want you do that, you know you want to do that, and it's that simple of saying like that's how you have to line it up. You have to plan how you have to line all those up. So if you're right. wandering trying to f- figure out how to get. Not even say you're lost, but like found. Just going off of this quote, you have to like kind of do some things. But it's like, I feel like I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like we share a lot of things in our like or whatever our personal life, and and you know what I mean. We're pretty open, but certain things that line up for us. I mean, maybe down the line we can share this like later and shit. But it's just like, it's really weird. Like we're like really weird to the point. I'm like, all right, all right. All jokes aside, yeah. This is fucked. <laughs> this is fucked. This shouldn't be happening. Yeah. And it's like, it's really crazy because it's literally the same. It's just alignment. Seeing what we want. Seeing, like, okay, like, how are we going to get there? Like, what's... Just putting on action that's... That's... Positively attracting it. Positively attracting It sounds so fucking weird because like, years ago, yeah. bro, we were in a room laughing at our friend that's trying to tell us, like, yo, energy. Energy is important. Energy is important. And this is the most, like... It's one of the things I look back at, I'm like, yo, fuck. Like, I was a little immature there, and I know I was trying to make, like, you know, I was just yeah, trying, trying to make, to make a joke. Too, but, mm-hmm. but, huh? We're trying to make it funny, too, but yeah. really, we did, I didn't, like, I didn't get it. Like, I didn't, yeah. I didn't get it. I didn't stop to think and even try and get it. It was just, I was just, my mind was just thinking go, like, <laughs> joke mode. But, like, uh-huh. it's really fucking crazy how much, like, how we I don't know this world is fucking weird honestly I don't even know what to, I, it's weird it's weird it creeps me out it gives me I a say that to say, nigga, I don't know what I'm saying, it's fucked yeah it's fucked and, and and from talking to like-minded people it's like you hear their stories and I'm just like so it lined up for you like it lined up for me mm-hmm. but we live totally different lives and you just did what I did in a different world in a different path in a different way you know what I'm saying and it's just like you listen to all these celebrity stories, how they got it, and it's just like it's the same thing. It's like this happened, then no, this happened, this happened. The same thing. The same thing. The same fucking shit. And it's so easy. Like it's crazy to like get to the other side of a goal and like think to yourself or explain to someone how you did it, and it's like I don't. I literally fucking set the goal, and I'm not even. I don't know when I set my goals. It's not so much about action. Like loosely, kind of. Like, I don't know, maybe we'll take this path and then, like, will this make sense? This is one road. This is one idea. But, like, you just get so dead set on just, on, on, or at least how I do. I just, like, I get really dead set on just, like, one specific goal. Like, it's going to be like this. What's ideal, nigga? What do I want? In a perfect world, what do you want? You just paint the picture. 
Nick, it just started. And then, okay, it just, just, <laughs> it just started. Make a bad like, moment of him trying to explain it is how it is. It's yeah. like, man, what the fuck? You see it start trickling in. Is, but you definitely have to, like, do the work. Like, I was definitely yeah. getting my mind right. I was definitely reading more, trying to learn more. Mm-hmm. Um, like, every day I try to, like, you know what I'm Fourth saying? Like, right. do my part to, like, get myself towards that goal. Mm-hmm. But I swear the rest just fucking, it just ends up working nigga it's, it's so like weird a little 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 it's little, so little fucking you know strange. what i'm saying like shit like that just makes me like okay what is i don't know what i'm doing like, what is this life what the yeah. fuck is i think that's everybody is that, is that, like what is like, going I think on where are we what? at the highest where level are I think it's crazy like that. you just gotta look around like what the fuck, what the yeah. fuck? yo but a lot of times you're there like yo like, didn't we just fucking we just, you remember this you thing? said that <laughs> i feel like it's it's so good having jermaine there all the time because i'm like okay nigga you know, you remember when I said this shit, mm. and it's happening. Mm. This podcast, we've all watched this. My Eagles, man. We've all watched this when we said some shit, and then it happens right after the podcast drops. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we're like, yo, what the fuck? Literally, that happens to us every, on and off this podcast. Yeah. The shit that we say that we're so specific mm. to the fucking T. Like, yo, this day, we said this, this, this. And the next day, we see exactly that. Plus the cherry on top. I'm talking about the cat. <laughs> we we said we we okay. We're talking. How how did the story even start? It started from a joke. Nigga, we're just you, you, nigga. We're just whatever. Just fucking talking. Nigga, Julian was there. It was me, Julian, Trevon. I can't remember who else, but we're de- it was us three talking about um, cap guns. Like yo, remember? Oh, we're talking about like the. the fire. Say, you say fire. Nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're talking about those little things you throw on the ground and they, they pop or explode whatever then that brought us to like yo remember cap guns and shit like oh yeah i used to get the caps and remember like the circle like the revolver caps or you just like sometimes we used to hit it with a hammer because there's different types and yeah we're, there's the paper cap guns and the, and the and the revolver ones you're talking yeah. about and we're like yo we love the revolvers we only use the revolver ones bro you know what we're talking about I haven't seen the shit in years i haven't years. not that i've been checking i definitely have not fucking seen the shit in years mm-hmm. the next day we're taking a walk around toronto and the walk, Jermaine, wasn't even... It was a like, random walk. It wasn't like up here, like the normal run the Osington or run the Young Street. It's just like up here, man, like, like yeah, I hit it right. Like, like, literally yeah. getting to streets and saying left or right. Jermaine would pick, then our friend would pick, then I would pick. Which is, it's just random. Mm-hmm. Which way you guys want to go? Left. We'd go left and we'd be like, ah, I'm not fucking feeling this. Return my people. Mm-hmm. It was random. Random. Wow. Two fucking revolver caps on the floor. I so stopped. That's too random. That's too random. That's Jermaine. Yeah, I, Two of them. Me, it's just me and Jermaine there. Mm-hmm. Fuck. I took a picture of it. I said, this is fucked. There's just too many times. That just happened by itself. Yeah, sure, coincidence, but there's so many. Yeah. To the no, point where it's that funny. shit? That is so specific. Bro, I have not seen that shit in <laughs> years, years, bro. I years. tell Julie and Julie's like, bro, what the fuck? No, Same reaction, weird, bro. That is- it's odd, and that's when I, when I feel like I'm in sync, a lot of shit like that starts to yeah, happen. Yeah, and there's a lot of fucking, bro. So of much times where I was saying this the other day, where I'm like, a song's playing in the background, and I, like I say something or think something, and then the song says it right after. Even it doesn't have to be a song I know. Mm-hmm. No subconscious. I've never heard the song. <sighs> I say whatever, nigga, uh, nigga. Yeah. I don't know an item, and then they say it like right in the song, like almost at the same time. Shit is crazy, bro. Shit is it is, crazy, it is, bro. it is, it is, it's weird. Shit is crazy, it's weird, bro. Even the whistle, we start whatever. I mean, <laughs> we go about this all day. You guys don't even know. You guys don't. You literally don't even understand the amount of times we say something and then it happens. Sometimes it happens right after. Sometimes a day after. Sometimes it's a month after. But I just feel like it's synchronicity and it's just putting things aligned and and just kind of knowing where you're going with it, like. It's just a nice. It's just nice to know that you think, not not even you think. It's just nice to kind of think about something responding to your actions. That's not like physical. That's just more like, hey, this is just a thought. Let me just throw this out there. Yeah. And something so you don't know what it is, but it's something responding to mm-hmm. that shit. And it's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I think in a world where you quantify, kind of like. What, what you've done, if it's right, if it's worked out or not, you quantify it based on, you know, money, whatever, da 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 da, da. Like, take a second, like, start now, or even if you've been started, take a second and look at where you're at in this moment and where you started. And, like, you know, just think about, you got to keep going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, like, if you didn't, then you wouldn't have. You don't have, don't you think it's like start, a failure. You know what I'm saying? Start, just start, yeah, man. Just like start. day two, there's gonna be a little bit of progress. Day yeah. three, a little bit more progress. Day I'm four, far. week three, week four, bro. 
You know niggas really love what we're doing when we, when we getting out in the mud like this. We're just like, we're literally saying, yo, we have to get an episode. Not only because it's like, yeah. we're, on, we're not on a schedule. We can literally drop this shit right now. Y'all know yeah. us, nigga. If we, you know us. You know what we about. You know our resume. <laughs> if niggas really want to do this. But this is something that we had to go through trial and tribulation to get to a finished product of like, mm-hmm. I love what this is. Like You know what I mean? And it's just like. A lot of people look at other people's like progression and where they're going, and they use that, and it just it just does not really motivate them to like do more because they feel like oh, there's don't watch another man journey, man. don't watch another I like man journey. Going with you. You, can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would say don't watch it. Watch it, just it depends bro. on how you're watching, what perspective you're watching it from. Because I say it. I say it as a Toronto man. Don't watch that. Watch it. See someone else's yeah. progression and success and be like, yo, fuck, I'm not getting mm-hmm. out of the mud. Like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Other people could be like, yo, nigga, you pull that shit off. All right, cool, nigga. I, I mm-hmm. think it's possible then. Mm-hmm. There's literally some people, literally again, but there's people to this day that I've met before and they're like, oh, yo, big fan. This is what I do, and now they're doing something. That I'm like, oh shit, like. You're doing your own thing. You, mm-hmm. you, you made your your own thing like mm-hmm. pop by just doing it. Some people always are pop, they're fucking stuck bigger than us and shit. Nigga yeah, become nigga, bigger. Blue back. Good. Congrats. Nigga, go. Nigga, you know, keep going because you're on a different journey. No matter where you're going, you're on something else. But you don't need no one else to do anything. You just need yourself and you can, and a plan. And the GDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. How do we get there? What the fuck? You're just align with a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, nah, I think it's just, a, I don't know, for me being back, there's just like a sort of like an opportunity for reflection. So it's just been like a theme. 60. Yeah, and writing a lot too. You just sort of, especially <laughs> writing, well, obviously you're writing about people, you're writing about dialogues and you're writing characters and shit. So you start paying a little bit more attention to people and, mm-hmm. you know, down to the mm-hmm. smaller details. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Shit. Pay attention to yourself a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I think on, on that note, uh, I feel I feel like this is this type of ep- episode was kind of like inevitable, like it was gonna happen just because yeah. it kind of come back as like how you feel and refresh, like where you at. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's often like we have our best, not I wouldn't say our best podcast. Episodes, but we have good podcast episodes when it's like, hey, when we come on here, literally keep it real. This was going on. Yeah. This is where our minds at. Next episode is like you guys, we just gave you our mindset where we're at type of thing. You know what I mean? Where it's like next time we come back is. Might be what happened that week? Yeah, yeah like what, like yeah. literally, what's going on? This week was literally just re, or not even this week. Past two weeks is kind of like recalibrating to yeah, being back home, seeing family, and just kind of like adjusting back to, you know, what I mean, bro, you know how many it's just been triggering, like car alarms and and like like you know watching people just walk up from all different places. I'm like, where the fuck did that guy come from? Like that right. whole, that whole was clear. You know what I mean? Remember yesterday in the alley? We're like, where does this guy come mm-hmm. from? Yeah, I feel like this is just a recalibrating episode, man. Yeah. RO Eagles, man. We still strong. You know what time we see y'all, baby. Man. And I gotta say, bro, like this yeah. I missed like like I, I took for granted like how much better this show is when we do it like in the same room type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, this shit is a different level, but we you know, we still, you know, give you guys a great level. It's funny, I got a comment like last week from well, no, it's for the from the RO Instagram. Mm-hmm. The nigga was like, is, so is Sheldon there with a question mark? Yeah, <laughs> that was a lot too. was amazing. Yeah, can't you know, tell, you know? Yeah. I'm just like, fuck. You know, we yeah. give you guys a level, but like, it's it's dope to like, for you know, for a few episodes, we're gonna be back together and just you know, yeah. vibing off each other's energy, and it's like fire. So my son downstairs, he even said he said um. He said, like, oh, do you guys record in the, like the same room? Mm-hmm. Or he said, do you guys record on green screen? Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, for the past like, you know, fucking. 50 episodes we haven't been in the same room type shit yeah. <laughs> you can not even tell yeah. that's crazy yeah. number one podcast I've been saying that yeah for show for show for show yeah yeah man oh yeah. any other podcast want to freestyle battle us man oh we know. definitely had to we fucking, had fucking do a cypher bro yeah. what the fuck yeah, yeah I ain't rapped in a minute nigga. I ain't rapped I got some I mean, jewels on me warming up yeah. off the top of my mind I got nothing but fucking mm. just yeah. shit nigga the right beat yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, we probably locked this motherfucker up. Yeah, we're we're not doing no questions, up, man. You know what time it is. This is an unofficial episode, man. We're probably gonna wrap it up raw, man. You know what time yeah. it is. Oh, man. like that. <laughs> oh boy, you know what time it is, man. This has been episode 27. 
97, nigga. Oh, I was so pressing the soundboard with my foot, man. <laughs> Episode 97, that wasn't a glitch, of the Random Order podcast. You know what time it is, man. Y'all yeah. niggas subscribe to the Random Order YouTube channel. Click that bell, man, to get all notifications. Become a true note again, Eagle, man. You know what time it is, man. You know what time it is. Audio version is available on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts. Make sure y'all rate and comment, man. Leave them five star reviews, nigga. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is Random Order Show. Uh, what we got going on? Four I Eat CA. The gear is up. The gear is continually to be. Is we're more gear. It's going down, man. You know what time it is. Get busy over there. www.4ye.ca. What else, nigga? Fuck. Your Yo, vlog's going, going crazy. On, man. Yeah. We on the vlog channel with it. Yeah. You just dropped two of them. We did the fucking back to back. And maybe by the time this is out, we probably got another one out. Three of them. That's show. Hey, yeah, man. Bro. Hey, y'all know where the kids is at, man. Stay locked in with the kids. We got a lot of things coming, man. This podcast, you see us go away for a week. Don't even trip about it. Worry about it. Hit that motherfucking bell. Get them notifications sent to your front door when the big dogs drop. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah. Man, what's the baked good of the day? Come on, man. We're going to do a weed brownie because that's what I consume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got y'all niggas. I'm fucked up. Jack, baby. I'm fucked with you.